In the hazard tree identification course, we're going to learn a couple of different aspects of how to identify tree hazards, defects, and assess risk. And learn once we've identified those risks, how do we manage them? Generally, we've all learned to assess the obvious, like dead and dying trees, as well as dead limbs. We want to get a little bit more in depth in this course and look at cavities, cracks, fungi, decay, insects, disease, lack of root flare. Uh, we may look for tripping hazards if you are in a municipality. When making assessments for hazard trees, we like to look at the whole plant. We try to evaluate everything in the area. We have to assess not only the target, but the entire tree. That includes the root zone, the trunk, and the crown. And we will give you a rating system during the class to interpret each of those different areas and how we put the ratings together. For example, this beech tree has an excellent example of a low risk root system. When we're evaluating that, it has all of the roots that we would like to see present. This is what we would like to see as a low risk tree. If we wanted to go a little bit further and evaluate some trees that have higher risk, why don't you come out to the class and learn how to evaluate them yourself.